Partitioning your PC's storage drive has many advantages, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So what are the advantages of partitioning? Separating your data by partitioning allows you to organize and manage your data more effectively. Not only that, but if your personal data files are separated from the operating system files, the risk of data corruption and or loss during malware attacks and system crashes is greatly reduced. In case of system failure or data loss, you are able to restore specific partitions without affecting the entire drive. You could also back up just certain partitions while leaving others untouched. Partitioning also enhances security when isolating sensitive data in their own partition. Encrypting those partitions will add another layer of protection. One other advantage, you can run multiple operating systems on the same computer if you partition the drive to allow different configurations. So how do you create a new partition? You can Windows search and select, create and format hard disk partitions, or right click on the start button and select disk management. In the disk management window, you will see a list of all the available disks and their partitions. Right click on the disk from which you want to create a new partition. Select Shrink Volume. This option allows you to resize the existing partition, which will free up space for the new one. The Shrink dialog box will appear, showing the total size of the disk and the available space that can be shrunk and relocated. Enter the amount of space you want to allocate to the new partition in the Enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes field. Then click on the Shrink button. Keep in mind, the value entered is in megabytes. So for example, if you want to shrink space by 10 gigabytes, you have to enter 10 times the megabyte value. The newly created amount of space should appear as unallocated. Right click on the unallocated section, select new simple volume, and the setup wizard will open. Click next, and by default, the entire unallocated space will be used, but if you prefer, you can adjust the size as you wish and allocate only a portion of it. Click Next and assign it a drive letter, which will be the path for the new partition. Click Next, then choose the file system and allocation unit size for the partition. NTFS is the recommended file system for Windows. Rename the partition in the Volume Label field. Tick the Perform a Quick Format option, otherwise the format process will take much longer unless you want a more thorough scan to be done for bad sectors. Once you've decided on the formatting details, Click Next, review the selected settings details, and if everything is okay, click Finish, and the new partition will be created. Once the process is complete, you will see the new partition listed in the Disk Management windows. You can find it using the File Explorer within this PC, and it will be ready as a separate drive. You can always delete a partition when it's no longer needed. To delete a partition, right-click on the Start button and select Disk Management. From the Disk section, right-click on the desired partition you want to delete and select Delete Volume. Be very careful when deleting partitions, as data loss is possible if it's not done correctly, especially if the wrong partition is accidentally deleted. A confirmation dialog box will appear, warning you that all the data on the partition will be completely deleted. Make sure this is the partition you want to delete and back up any important data on the partition before clicking Yes to continue. When you are certain and ready to proceed, click Yes to confirm the action. With the selected partition now deleted, it will no longer appear in the volume list, and the space it occupied will become unallocated again, which can be reallocated back to its original disk or be kept as unallocated for future designation. Whenever you need help or have any questions, you can always reach out to us through social media for support, and we also have the Dell Community Forum. There are many other support tutorials available on this channel, so become a subscriber today. Thanks for watching.